Hey everybody. Today we're combining columns in R using the unite command from the tidier package. This is a great tool if you have a single variable split across multiple columns in a data set and you just need to smash those columns together as character vectors. I've already loaded up tidyverse of course, that's where the tidier package lives, as well as the NYC flights 13 package that includes the flights data set that I'm going to be looking today looking at today. I've also put up, pulled up the help file for Unite. You can look at that at your leisure. So let's start just by taking a glimpse at this flight's data set. All right, notice by the way that there are 336,000 observations, lots of flights in and out of New York in 2013. Lots of different variables here. I'm going to be focused on the first three, year, month, and day. For some purposes, it might be nice to have that date split into three columns, but for others, we might just want a single column called date. And so that's going to be my real goal in this vid. So since these are, since unite is a tidyverse verb, the syntax is natural. The first argument is going to be a data frame. So we can use the pipe. Let's take the flights data set and pipe it into unite. So we're going to unite columns in the flights data set. First, I have to supply the name of the new column that I'm going to get, and that's going to be date. I want a single column called date. Then I need to list the columns that I want to combine. And here I can use tidy select um, syntax so I can give column numbers. I can just name them. I can use all my fun tools from site tidy select. Here I want year, month, and day. I am going to just take a second to align this a little bit better to make it a bit more readable. And since if I just execute this right now, it's just going to print out in the console. I'm also going to save this. How about flights EE for equitable equations? And then let's glimpse that. OK, a few things to notice. First of all, we now have a date column. Good. That's what we were supposed to have. Secondly, notice that the next three columns, year, month, and day, that we combined with the unite command are now gone. So unite is taking those three columns and smashing them together in a very literal way and taking out the original columns. Um, we can change that default behavior if we want. Let me show that um, with an argument remove, remove equals false. And that'll leave all the original variables in there. And we can glimpse that to see it. OK, so now we have date, year, month, and day. The next thing to notice is that by default, when those character vectors in each of these three columns were combined, they were separated with an underscore. That's the default separator for the unite command. For a date, that's not ideal. We probably want a dash, maybe a slash. I'll use a dash copy and paste again so I'm not just overwriting everything I'm doing. Leave a little space. To change the default separator to something else, we do sep equals quote, and I'll do a dash. And let's glimpse that one more time. Yay, so that's exactly what we would want there. 2013-1-1, so January 1st of that year. Next thing to notice, it's giving us a character vector. So the unite command is literally using the paste command, just in a slightly more intelligent way. So the output's always going to be a character vector. That's fine in general. It's what you want. Here, though, it's a date. So maybe we should change this from a character vector to a date. So let's pipe the result here. Well, yeah, let's pipe it into a mutate command. And let's change date to be as.date of date. So again, this is going to take the output that we just had, and it's going to replace the column called date, overwrite it with a new column called date, and it's just going to convert that character vector to dates. So let's take a look at that. Excellent. So now we have a date format. 